What up, everybody? It's the Alex Leak and Friends NFL Podcast, Week 5, Episode 5. I got David Stoyo in Canada. What's up? I got Aaron Sorensen in Mishawaka, Indiana. Aaron's there somewhere. And then I got Josh Gonzalez in Niles, Michigan. What up? <laughs> All right. Um, so, Thursday night. Patriots Bucks. We had a good game. I thought the Tampa Bay outplayed New England. Um, but big misses by the kicker, Nick Folk, kind of blew the game. Um, Tom Brady ties Brett Favre and Peyton Manning for most career regular season wins at 186. Um, Stoyle, what do you think? Did you watch this game? I definitely watched the game. Uh, I mean, I guaranteed this game last week on the podcast. So nice. I was, I was actually training for Tampa, but wanted to see a good game, and it was a pretty good game. I mean, when you watch a kicker just lose their job on national television, <laughs> it's quite entertaining. I mean, the last one that he missed was definitely something he should have made, and yeah, it definitely cost him the game. That was like a thirty-one yarder. That was awful. And then, uh, yeah, well, it, it lost him the his job. They replaced him with another kicker, so he's a free agent now. Um, Brady got sacked three times in this game and then missed practice this week and is said to have a sprained AC joint in his non-throwing shoulder. Um that, along with the Patriots' defense, do you think they can still pull out the division? What do you think, Aaron? I mean, yeah, they're, they're such a deep team. And, I mean, I, it, Brady's no Stafford, you know, playing with injured shoulders. But some tells me he's probably going to make it through. And they'll probably be fine. <laughs> Josh, are you a Patriots fan? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 no. All right, good. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, he'll probably be fine. I mean, that that organization's so well set up. I mean, I I think he'll probably be back next. I mean, who are they playing next week? Um, Patriots. They're playing the Jets next week, so they should easily win that. Yeah. Yeah. They could probably even sit him if it came to it, and and, and, and you know just yeah. wait him out of something that might be more serious than that. But well, I the. Guess- the Jets are three and two actually, coming off a win against the Browns. I mean, they've had kind of an e- easier schedule, but this is a team everyone was saying was going to go like zero and sixteen, and they're three and two, uh, tied for the division lead. Yeah. 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 You can see I've been paying attention, <laughs> <laughs> but they're still not very good. Touche. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that's their biggest competition in the division. Well, yeah. no, well the Bills are 3-2. and two. Dolphins aren't very good. Dolphins are struggling. Um, but the Jets beat the Browns. The Browns' head coach, Hugh Jackson, has coached 21 games as a Browns head coach. How many wins would you say he has? He has one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I already know the answer. <laughs> One in 20. So he might be worried about his uh, job security, so he benches the the, uh, rookie quarterback who was leading the league in interceptions with nine. So they bench him, and they go with Kevin Hogan at at starter from now on. Well, he threw 16 and and 19. I mean, that's not terrible. You know, it's better than Bill Knight. Nine interception guys. So. <laughs> yeah. I actually watched the game yeah. because it was on TV for some reason. <laughs> Up here, they had that and the uh, yeah. Bills game. So I was going back and forth between the Bills game and the Browns game. And yeah, Kaiser just was not good out there. And Hogan actually brought a spark on the bench and did something, I guess. <laughs> but. I don't see him as a future. I don't think guys are the future either. And when you have three QBs drafted in the first round, I think that the Browns made a mistake not 
not drafted one of those. So you're saying yeah. the Browns are going to have more quarterback problems in the future? Uh, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> that's the Browns. Like, they yeah. Don't, yeah. They'll leave again QBs. I mean, is Miles Garrett going to be really that good? Possibly, not... but at some point, you need to draft a franchise QB. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where, where does where are their problems terribly stemming from? I mean, is it just go all the way up to to the, to the front office? Coach? Yeah. I mean, obviously it's a little bit of everything, but what what would you say the root of that is? Ownership. I think it's bad ownership. I mean the the guy who owns the Browns now was like being went bankrupt and something else not too long ago, right after he bought the team. Wasn't that Stoyo? Don't don't you remember that? Uh, I don't think he went bankrupt, but he was he investigated was, by the FBI or something. Yeah, it wasn't. Or, it was like a truck stop company, right? Yeah. So he's kind of a shady guy, it so- sounds like, and maybe he's not running the Browns very well. I don't know. Well, when you're ripping off flying J's up and down the road, you know what I mean? You might <laughs> you know, catch up to you. Flying J's. <laughs> anything you can find. I like Hugh Jackson as a coach. I mean, he's been a good offensive coordinator, but, I mean, Cleveland's a tough place to win. Um, another tough place to win is the Bengals. Uh, they started out 0-3, but have won in the last two. Uh, if you guys remember Andy Dalton starting out the first two weeks, he was horrible, throwing pick sixes, just didn't look like himself. So the team fired their offensive coordinator, Kevin Zampese, and replaced him with Bill Lazor. And since that time, Andy Dalton has seven touchdowns and two picks for over 800 yards. The team is 2-1. and one. And they're getting AJ Green more involved. Do you think that's pretty much the answer? Is just to start getting him more involved, and you know, hope that Dalton protects the ball a little more. Dalton just has to throw lasers to AJ Green, and he'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the old uh, St- Stafford uh, uh, Calvin Johnson <laughs> recipe. There, just bolted to that guy. Hey, yeah, Dalton's proven that he's an athlete and he's, and he's great so something I mean like something's got to work for him he's great I wouldn't call Andy Dalton great Andy Dalton it can be very good I mean he, he's a staple of that very team very good yeah not yeah. I wouldn't say okay, great he's not great I'm not saying he's heading Hall of Fame right now or anything like he's that he's had the in- Ginger Hall of Fame maybe <laughs> <laughs> He's had some impressive regular seasons, but he's never really got it done in the playoffs, so that's one thing against him. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else here? Damn. So, Aaron, did you watch Panthers-Lions? Yes, I did. So, yeah. well, Cam Newton didn't look distracted as I thought he would. He played well, 355 yards, three touchdowns. Your boy, Devin Funchess, Aaron, is emerging with 24 catches and three touchdowns. Just based on the highlights, because I didn't see the game, but the highlights, it looked like Detroit was missing some tackles on defense. Um, Darren Fells, Darren Fells, or your tight end, is starting to do well. He's starting to get some targets. But uh, what do you think of the game? Man, I mean, dude, our, our thing that we've been just like kind of using as a crutch, because I really don't think we've gotten our offense besides our running going in the last few weeks. I knew this would probably catch up to us, but our defense, man, I mean, they were, I don't know if it was the Panthers kind of coming back to form, but they were just, it just seemed like Cam was throwing great and it just, they were throwing downfield or getting uh, funches in the middle. They were getting extra yards and that usually wasn't happening on us. Um, our, I mean, our, our secondary had been fantastic, but they were just big, man. Uh, Slay and, the, and those guys, I don't think, really have the height that maybe some of those guys do. And, and man, they, I mean, it just it really felt like they were just, we could kind of slow them down up the field, but they were going to get yards. Yeah. So it, it seemed like a Carolina team like a couple of years ago. You know, you can kind of slow them down. And in Lions form, I mean, we, we, we kind of had it going a little bit in the beginning, but then all of a sudden I'm about to like change the channel or get up and do something else. In fourth quarter, we bring it back. I just don't know why we we play so kind of safe. It seems like in in the middle of the game, and then we really kind of unleash it. I know they're playing a little bit more um, 
looking for the long balls at the end of the game on defense, Carolina was, but it, it just seems like we wait and we push it and we get it close at the end, but we just do nothing. We're so stagnant in the middle. Yeah. I yeah. mean, uh, <clears throat> the Lions definitely should have stopped or found a way to stop Cam Newton. Yeah. He yeah. went pretty ridiculous, and you could just ask him a few questions about route running, and he would have crumbled. <laughs> I think well, we could have set a bunch of whips right up the middle, and he probably would have giggled so hard they would have sacked him. <laughs> I'll say this: I think Cam Newton's back to playing pretty good football. I think that he's using the weapons around him. He's getting Christian McCaffrey into the game. You know, I think that he's finally he was he went through a bad streak there where he was just struggling, but I think that he's back. And Detroit might have had an off week on defense, or you know, in different areas of the game, but I think they're a decent team, and maybe Carolina Carolina could be one of the best teams in the NFC right now. Dude, and that's the thing, not saying that the Lions are playing, like, amazing or anything, but, man, they were looking really good. I mean, if you look at, like, all, all, serious, all their yards were from receiving. They had 355 yards from receiving, only 20 from run, rushing, but they were moving the ball every single time yeah. down the field. So it is, that could be a, a much scarier team than what people are, are thinking. Josh, um, the Lions are only a game behind the Packers. Are you worried at all about them coming up and sne- stealing the division? I would. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but but explain, this, explain this to Aaron. Why are you not worried at all? reason in my life to ever <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it's a new About team it's a new team everybody knows Aaron Rodgers isn't really that good like <laughs> everybody in Detroit maybe pretty good <laughs> yeah that's the thing man I mean you just watch like Rodgers and those guys at the end of the end of the, the game you're like jeez man these guys can just do that like it seems like at will well or, Rodgers can make that happen at will. So it's just like, we better start playing out of our minds or something. Cause, it's yeah. tough. I mean, I've we're in a division with, the, in my opinion, the best quarterback in the game. The throws that Aaron Rodgers can make, his ability to move and get outside of the pocket and pick up first downs. I mean, he can put the ball wherever he wants to. He's got that arm talent, and at the same time, he doesn't turn the ball over very often. And he... Well, I mean, you look I at, hate the Packers because I'm a Bears fan, but me too. I have to give credit to Rodgers for finishing that game off. He put that team on his back and just marched downfield, picked up first down on his leg when he had to, just won the game for him. <laughs> it's just, I'll tip my hat to him, whatever. I you mean, he's probably going so crazy too with his little run at the end. Yeah. When he got you were like, oh my gosh, he's got such a boner for himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he got it done, you know? Yeah. Well, the great, at, the, at the end of the play, he, he goes he goes uh, to the left corner of the end zone. Uh, the guy basically swats it down. He just goes right back to it. Yeah, I mean, same, same exact play. Zone. Yeah. Same exact play, same route. He just knew he threw it wrong and was like, boom, here it is. Yeah, Devontae yeah. Adams came back to the huddle and was like, throw that same thing to me. I got him. He's like, I'm going to beat him. And Rodgers didn't even hesitate through the exact same play. Boom. Touchdown. Um, Josh. made him, you know, like next level now. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I when. Rogers. I think we Devontae Adams beat on that play. Um, a four-time WWE tag team champion, Xavier Woods. <laughs> no, that's not the same Xavier Woods. That's a different one. <laughs> No, there's there's two Xavier Woods. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say. What? <laughs> Start the rumor. Maybe the guy Start should the stick the to football and play some defense. All right, Alex, Aaron. Podcast just have real out there. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, Alex Jones route. Aaron, check this out. Um, so you mentioned Frank Gore the other week. Uh huh. How? How? Where would you think Frank Gore would be on the all-time rushing yards list? Like, of, oh, he's, I've looked at this. 
he's up there. What? Where would you say? He just passed. He's just now t- became seventh, but wow, okay. he is ahead of guys like Eric Dickerson, Jim Brown, and Marshall Folk. Wow. Well, what year is this of him playing? I mean, it's like his. This what, is. He, I don't. Maybe fifteen. Yeah, he's been in yeah. the league for a long time. Yeah. Well, when you just transform yourself into just like kind of just an orb. <laughs> <laughs> A, well, he stayed healthy too. He's he came out of the U. He was he's a beast. Yeah. No, he's not, he's always played good. I don't think has he really he probably really really hasn't had much injury, has he? I don't really ever. This think is of, his thirteenth season. Yeah. And he missed like five games in two thousand ten. That's it. And okay. since then, he has played sixteen. That's and awesome. missed like six more games before that, so he missed eleven games in a thirteen-game career. It was kind of like just what Emmett Smith kind of had that, didn't he? Just played a long time, never really got hurt much. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why. What? What is Emmett? He's, he's second, or, or is he first? He's first. He's first. He's first. Right? He's yeah. first yeah. 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 Behind, in front of sweetness. Yep. Yeah. In front, in front of the greatest of all time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, scary. We retired too early. I met this guy out here in Seattle that he's he's a big Seahawks fan, but his favorite player of all time was Barry Sanders. Yeah, man. Just probably, honestly, probably one of the most uh, electric players to ever play. I mean, just the highlights speak for themselves, man. Well, I yeah, mean, but you could say the same thing about Rex Grossman. Wow. <laughs> 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 the wrong yeah, yeah. The real Roy Williams there, highlight reel. <laughs> fast, dropped fast, dropped fast. <laughs> Best uh, Lions wide receiver, Megatron or Charles Rogers? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, only if you got only if you got Scott Mitchell throwing the ball to him. <laughs> well, obviously, then we got something here. So. Uh, enjoy hearing- all right, let's talk about the Miami Dolphins week of football. Um, the Dolphins played the Titans. So the Dolphins play the Titans. Marcus Mariota missed the game with injury, so Matt Castle started. The Dolphins somehow fi- found a way to win, 16 to 10. Meanwhile, during the game, fans were, fans were chanting for Matt Moore to replace Jay Cutler. Um, and then Monday, the news broke that Dolphins offensive line coach Chris Forster resigns after a video shows him snorting coke in the Dolphins' office. So, <laughs> that's not ideal. Wait, wait, Alex, and say, say how he got caught. Well, I don't know all the details. You got you break it down. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, so he got caught because he was sending, like, a Snapchat or some sort of video to some chick he was calling this babe. But it turned out, I think she was, like, an exotic dancer or something in that <laughs> realm. And she probably turned him over for a few bucks. I heard <laughs> that she said she had more pictures or more stuff. Jeez. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, bold move. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, also, the Giants drop to 0 and 5. They lose to the Chargers, 27-22. The Chargers end their nine-game losing streak in that game. Um, nice. and right. mid during the game, the Giants lose. Both Odell Beckham Jr. and Brandon Marshall for the season. Yes. So, yeah. not a great game for the Giants. That should solidify their going nowhere this year. They're already 0 and 5, and might as well tank and re- get Eli Manning's replacement in the draft. Yeah, that sucked, man. That was just a bad week overall for injuries, man. Yeah, it was. There's yeah. a there's a lot of them. Dell took it well, it looked like. Yeah, he said he'll be back better than ever. Yeah, oh no, I was 
talking about him just like crying on the card. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, like he took a took a like a jab like usual. <laughs> Yeah, um, speaking of injuries, the Texans lose uh, J.J. Watt for the season and Whitney Merciless for a major injury. I'm not sure if that's quite for the season, but just uh, the Texans got messed up with injuries. They lose to the Chiefs 42-34. Um, on the bright side, Deshaun Watson threw five touchdowns, another rookie record. He seems to keep breaking those. Um, do you think the Texans will win that division? You got Texans, Titans, Colts, or uh, Jaguars? Jaguars have been playing well. Man, that's got to be. Like, watching that game, though, even though Deshaun uh, Watson was throwing like that, but, I mean, those big hits there, their defense. And, I mean, who, I'm sorry, who was the first guy that got injured with the pectoral injury? Uh, Whitney Merciless. He's their star linebacker. Right. Because I was watching that with uh, Casey and Kyle, who are PTs. Yeah. And I think they were saying something, and they looked it up later and were telling me that he tore a pectoral. Yeah, torn pectoral I muscle. Think, I think that'd be a, that's a pretty decent-sized muscle. I think that'd probably, I mean, if not be the whole year, a good chunk of it. Yeah, I think they, I might have heard that he could possibly come back, like, for the Super Bowl, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, the Texans are not going to be there, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> they make it for the Super Bowl. I mean, so negative, though. How do you go. know? The Texans could definitely be there. No, not for <laughs> losing Watts. And That's true. Dude, did you hear that impression after like Watt went out? Though, I mean, until the end when they threw that other touchdown to make it up there, like everybody was just quiet. Yeah. Everybody was like dumbfounded. Like I feel really bad for JJ, but. I don't know what to say. It's the NFL. That shit happens. It's the NFL. Can his body still take it, though? I mean, this is the second year in a row he's going to miss I, most of the year. I think that Who he's is? a deliberate. Like, he'll keep coming back. I think he loves the game. I could see him coming back one or two more times. I mean, he's 28 years old. He had a great career. Yeah, already. Point, yeah. Can his body handle it is the question. Yeah. Well, I think what they said with I was I was doing a little uh, digging on his leg, uh, and I think that they said it was yeah it was a it was a tibia tibia plateau fracture which is kind of at the top of like your uh, oh like right under where your knee or your uh, the, your oh, shit I don't know <laughs> <laughs> like your shin bone connects to your like knee and it's just right there at the top and a couple they were talking about that that's not the worst spot to break it just because where it look it's yeah located. it's not like uh a, a shorter recovery time than what everybody thought yeah hopefully i root for the guy he's uh not only great for the nfl but he's great for his community so it's you know you like to see a guy like that on the field oh yeah what he just raised like uh like mil. yeah, yeah. For the city, so geez. that's impressive that's um crazy. so i out here, I got the Eagles-Cardinals was my first game, and I wasn't particularly happy about it. It was a blowout, 34-7. to Carson Wentz is looking great with all those weapons. He threw four touchdowns. The Cardinals only ran the ball for 31 yards in that game, and that prompted them to trade their sixth-round pick to the Saints for Adrian Peterson. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think he's a good fit? Do you think he'll get more carries, and will the Cardinals be a better team? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, how is their out, their O line doing? I mean, can they block for him? Because I don't think he can well, totally create exactly how he used to. I think he'll be happy. He's going to get a lot more carries than the, he was in the Saints. He was getting like six or seven carries a game in New Orleans. So he'll be glad to get out of there. And it has to make the team better. I mean, they're trying to replace David Johnson, and they haven't been successful doing so. Yeah. Um, at least get the defense noticing. And it is, I mean, if anybody can do it, Adrian Peterson, man. I mean, every time everybody's written him off, he seems to. I'll say this. Out. I'd rather see him actually out there running the ball than sitting on the sideline in New Orleans. So I like it. Yeah. I think 
And the Cardinals are bad, so they need whatever help they can get. And according to AP, he wants to play another four or five years, so... He better prove he it, then. to show something, yeah. yeah. He's 32 right now, so... I don't know if he's going to make it to 37, but... I don't know. I'm intrigued. Josh, what do you think? Are you a big AP fan? You think he's still got it? Yeah, I, I think I like him more that now that he's not on the Vikings. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's glad to have him out of the division. Yeah, I would think. I don't know. Stoyles would have to put him at 37. I can't imagine him playing that long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, running. Back from being from that one big injury and yeah. came back and was the MVP of the league. And he's older now. Yep. But, uh, hey, if there's one spot people always seem to thrive in old age, it's in Arizona. That's true. The Suns, the Cardinals, I mean... Look, you got Carson Palmer, Larry Fitzgerald. Those guys had a yeah. couple years out there. I That's where the running backs go to retire. Edwin James, Emmett yeah. Smith, yep. Chris Johnson. Yep. Dude, that's the thing, too, man. I mean, especially with running backs, like a lot of your joints, your legs, your muscles. I mean, the nice weather down there. Yeah. You can't do anything wrong, you yeah. know? Yep. So... Oh no, there could always be something to that. So, um, and I know I remember with oh sorry Alex, uh, yeah. I remember with the, especially with the Suns organization, they were talking like Steve Nash and a couple of other guys always raved about like their medical teams down there. I know they probably have individual ones for it, but just saying that some maybe some of those facilities or different things are down there that they've been raving about. So that'd always be attractive too for them. They just seem like a step ahead out there. I mean, they've got that field that is actual grass, and they put it out into the parking lot when they're not playing, and then they wheel it in when they go, and it's actual yeah. grass, and, like, players like playing on grass a lot more than they do turf. Oh, yeah. I mean, just the amount of injuries probably just hitting that solid surface. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, do you guys think Big Ben is done? He They played the Jaguars, Steelers, Jaguars. Jaguars won 30-9. Roethlisberger threw five interceptions, two of them picked sixes. Um, the, the Jaguars' defense might be for real, but that was a bad performance by Big Ben. And then he said after the game he maybe he doesn't have it anymore. Do you think he might not have it anymore? I, I think read, he said... Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I, I read something about him talking about how he still should be one of the best in the game. Yeah, he um, came back and said that, what, yesterday or something? After he, yeah, but maybe he's just covering up for himself. Yeah, that's the thing. Once those guys kind of lose it in themselves, I mean, yeah, he, he should be able to. I mean, he's got the size, definitely, obviously, he's still super athletic. He's only thirty-five. Cool. And you look but at the weapons on that up. team. I mean, that's a you play that team right. You use those weapons the right way. That's a Super Bowl caliber team. Yeah, yeah. So maybe he just lost it. Yeah, I think he was sarcastic when he said he's, that. He yeah. was just upset. It was right after the game, and the reporters were asking him questions, and he was just trying to get out of there. I think it was just a bad game. It's not like he had a great season so far. I mean, the Bears beat him, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, he just... He talked about retiring this past off season and decided to come back, so this could be his last season, but... I think we could see him around one more. Yeah. Yeah. I am also, I think it was kind of sarcastic. I think that him talking about retirement this last off season has got the media asking him questions about it all the time. And I think that he's tired of hearing about it. So when he had a bad game and they're asking him about retirement and does he still have it, he's kind of being sarcastic, like, leave me alone, I, I, I would guess. But, I mean, if he's doubting himself, that's not good for the Steelers. And, yeah, you know. That's true. I have just said that out of frustration. I mean, everybody says stuff like that. You know, yeah. Like, yeah fuck, uh, I'm never doing this again. This sucks. But, yeah, I mean, he'll bounce back. He's been doing it for long enough. Yep. So. But, uh, I mean, the Jaguars look good. They could. I think they p could potentially win that division. They need to get their quarterback situation figured out, but... 
Leonard Fournette in that game rushed for 181 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, he's a beast, and that defense is opportunistic. Sacks and picks and all that. Yeah, you think it's the you think it's the new uniforms? I just I can't I can't watch it, man. It's just the uniforms. You man. don't like the uniforms? It just looks stupid. <laughs> I, it's just I stupid. Agree. I, I I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, how many games have you watched the Jaguars in the past five years? <laughs> like a few, just the ones around early. Just they were over in England. I mean, them. let's all be honest. Nobody watches the Jaguars on the last no. floor. I'll say this. <laughs> Yeah, we, you're in Jacksonville, you probably don't even know you have a team. <laughs> I'll say this, we can't all wear baby blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of gold, though, is... yeah, right? Is that the... Seriously, man, I think there is something to it. Like, once your team has a stupid-looking uniform, you don't do well. <laughs> but when the Royals have that stupid baby blue, and then they switch to the newer one. Well, okay, mine is a wrong Blue. Okay, those look great. <laughs> and there's sometimes, like, I just think you, you dress the guys up and then they just, Yeah, I think the Packers... <laughs> I think the Packers should change their jerseys because I think the green and yellow is pretty dumb and they should stop winning. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they beat the Packers in Dallas, in Jerry World. Uh... What's his name? Skip Bayless said that Aaron Rodgers owns Jerry World, and you know how much of a Cowboys fan he is. Um, I I think Rodgers is the best quarterback in the game. He's all around play. Um, Packers go to what's the Packers record? Are, are they four and one? Four and one. Yeah, that's pretty good. And they they might have found their running back too. Rookie Aaron Jones runs for 116 yards in his first career start. Um, solid start for Green Bay. How do you see any problems, Josh? How far do you think this team can go this year? Like I know that they far. they got a lot of injuries on defense. I did remember seeing that. Oh, well, I can. Uh, as long as number twelve is healthy, <laughs> we can go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that just be awesome? This one game, Aaron Rodgers drops back, and I mean, I like the guy. Just, 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 just break loose. Just he doesn't see him coming, and just. Oh, I, oh, I saw that. Cambo, they shut the lights down. The game's done. <laughs> just lights there. Yeah, but that's the only way you can beat the Packers, really. Yeah, that's and the only way. Rodgers goes down. Yeah. And I'm laughing because, as a Bears fan, I have never, ever been able to say the statement you just said, Josh. What? That it's just about your QB. And that's oh, it. Like, yeah. As long as our quarterback's there, we have a shot. Yeah. Yeah. I have never been able to say <laughs> And I'm very jealous. Yeah. But. I mean, but far as him, man. I mean, how many years I is that? potential now. Guys, I see the future. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, what is that like? With from Favre to, to Rogers' career, over two guys. I mean, it's yeah. You know, what is it, the crazy amount of years they've only had two guys? What is that like? Ninety four until now. Yeah, it's crazy. The Bears had like thirty five starting QBs in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they've showed that like on a graphic. Before. Yeah. Bears are playing the speaking of uh, speaking of graphics, do you guys know that uh, Clayton Kershaw and Matthew Stafford grew up together? I I did know this. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. show that like ev- every single game. They show that highlight. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. in they case you forgot, <laughs> were they munching on burritos together? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Burger Shack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see what else happened this last week. Um, oh, yeah, we won the Super Bowl in that building. Yeah. We we try to forget about those those things. Glorious. <laughs> 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 I um Seahawks at Rams. We all said this would be a good tough test for the Rams who started out so hot. And it was. They lost sixteen to ten. They had five turnovers. Earl Thomas was all over the field making plays. Um 
Do you think Seattle is back? How good do you think the Seahawks can be? That's a good road win in the division. I think Seattle is relying too much on their defense. Yeah. They need to get it together offensively if they want to do anything in the playoffs. But that defense is so much fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, they have the two best safeties in the game right now, in my opinion. Yeah. Two best safeties. They have a shut one of the few shut down corners. Then you got on top of that you got Michael Bennett and Sheldon Richardson and Oh showed up huge. Yeah. And then you got Bobby Wagner at linebacker and uh they're just loaded. Bruce yeah, Bruce Irvin or Bruce Irvin's gone now, he's in Oakland. But uh they got they got a couple linebackers. They're just a loaded team. Yeah. Um, I think okay. they. Uh, we think, Aaron. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is kind of going back to the, the Jaguars thing. I was just uh-huh. was reading some stuff. Yeah, because they were talking about with yeah with uh, coinciding with the Giants season kind of tanking. Yeah. And they're talking about rebuilding. I mean, they're talking about maybe trading uh, Eli down to Jacksonville. I mean, do really. You think- would really give them quite an answer. Yeah, I would love to see that. Yeah. Because yeah. that's uh, Tom Coughlin's running the Jaguars. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, if if Tom, if Eli oh, Manning man. is available, you know he's going to be the first on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great to see him, him link back up with the NFL's Larry David. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, no, I thought that was interesting, though. That'd be quite the, I mean, that I, I don't see how they could win, because I think it's next year Eli's contract's up. Uh, I'm not sure Eli's contract status. I know I that... it was not terribly far off, at least. Yeah, and the, I mean, if, if it's anywhere close, the Giants will gladly move on and just rebuild and uh, get their quarterback, and then Jacksonville, I mean... They're definitely looking for a quarterback. I'm surprised they haven't switched to Chad Henney yet. So Eli Manning has two more years on his contract after this year. How mu- yeah. do you, does, oh, it, yeah. does okay. it say how much is left on it? Uh, yes. Uh, he's in the 20s probably, right? Per, per year, though? Well, 33 left. Yeah, that's a lot. But they yeah. still might do it. Yeah, hey, if they, if they can make a good push, I mean, that'd be at least great to attract maybe some other players in the offseason or something if they can make a, make a good push. Well, that's a the that's a thing. They're talking about trading them over there, so that would ship the contract. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, I was thinking about them eating the contract. But, yeah, Jacksonville would take over the contract. Well, but, being the Giants, too, I mean, they could probably eat a little bit of it. Yeah. That's, I'm guessing that's probably what they would have to do. I mean, it's 21 after this year, so 21, that's like, when you're paying Glennon 18 a year, 21 for two years, that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. No. That wasn't bad at all. So, yeah, for a guy like Eli for that, that's not bad. See what everybody else's contracts are starting to go to. Yeah, I mean, they have wide receivers there. He's got some weapons that aren't done for the year in Jacksonville. You have a running yeah. back that he never had in, in New York. He's got a defense, a better defense probably than the one in New York. That's a win, a win for Eli, and I would think a win for the Giants. I would get that done. And getting away from that New York media would be a blast yeah. for the last part of Manning's career. Yep. Uh-huh. It's like, wait, no one cares down here? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's warm? <laughs> it's where people go to retire. Yeah. yeah. Peyton's already down there waiting for him, just making commercials. <laughs> Omaha! Omaha! Eli! Oh, oh, we got another nationwide commercial to shoot. They're on our side, baby! <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, speaking of quarterbacks, the Vikings and Bears played on Monday Night Football. Um, Sam Bradford got the start, but looked bad, looked injured. He took a couple hits and just looked bad out there. They replaced him with Case Keenum. Uh, the halftime score was a uh, very uh, intense three to two. The f- <laughs> it got going a little more in the second half. Case Keenum took over for Sam Bradford. 
Vikings won 20 to 17. Um, yeah. Bears rookie Mitch Trubisky gets his first career start. Stoyo, Stoyo, I know you were watching it close. What did you think of Trubisky? I was finally excited to see Mitch Trubisky play. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. I'm very excited about the future. I mean, he had a few mistakes out there, but I, I want him to win. I want us to win, and I think we finally have a franchise quarterback. Yeah, wow. I think he's got arm talent. It's a tall order for him. He, I think he this showed arm talent. Game, he the nastiest game I've he, ever seen. He showed ability. I mean, that's a good defense in Minnesota. So it's a tough yeah. first test. He's got no wide receivers that can get any separation. So it's tough. I mean, he threw. A, could have thrown like two or three picks. He threw one. But it's a tough. I mean, when you're receivers are shut down and you don't have weapons to throw to it's tough to play quarterback um i thought he showed good mobility he's got to clean up the turnovers but he's got to get better help around him i thought he did all right for his first career start on on prime time yeah Would i you... mean i remember some people were talking about no he did he did look good i mean it was nice they brought in actually the second half was just a totally different game yeah the first half. yeah i, I mean dude. yeah the first half was just like you're sitting there. You're like, are you kidding me? And the only points were like a safety. Yeah. When Sam Bradford sat in the end zone for like eight seconds. Yeah. Just, just thinking, yeah. Just asking I mean, for I it. Do, I turn to my speed here. Yeah. <laughs> well, part part of the problem was the refs took over the game once again. They were turning it into Flag City. Like they want to control the game. They want to be part of the narrative and. I'm sick of refs taking over the game. It just it kills the product yeah, on the field. That on Monday nights and Sunday nights. Yeah, they always do that. Well, the big I thing, mean, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the big thing. I, I think especially. I mean, do you think they're calling it? Well, obviously, they are every single year, but especially in, in when they're in the uh, under the big lights, just because of the injuries, the head injuries and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but they're calling like tic tac foul, yeah. like holding calls. That are there's hold, points off the board, which was ridiculous in my opinion. There's there's holding. I have no problem with defensive holding because I'm a defensive guy. I I love watching defense. I think that the uh, officials, the rules are advantage to offense. So I have no problem with a little holding on defense. And the holding on offense that I saw was just it was cheap. Like there's holding on every single play. You got to know when to call it and when it actually affects a play. The the ones that are worth calling are the ones that affect the play and affect yardage. If it happens on the other side of the field, why are you calling that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, I've seen it, you know, Bears Lions game. You see Stafford throw like a 20 yard pass and they bring it back for a holding that happened on the other side of the field, you know, like on Golden Tate. And it's like, that, that had no effect. Yeah. I, I mean, there was a couple that I saw this last week that I mean, were clearly, I thought were out of play and they were calling stuff. I don't know if they're calling more just to make up with it or to seem like they're, you know, that's the way they're calling it. But yeah, I mean, it's a hard, it's a difficult job, man. There's sometimes they give them a little here and there, but, you know, if it starts to become a problem. Uh, I think you know. that they do a good job of getting the calls right. Like not not necessarily the flags, but they get the important calls right, the scoring, the catching, the fumbles, and that's the biggest thing. If they were getting those calls wrong, we would have actual problems. But they're you know, we're nitpicking in a in a league that we love watching, so we're it's not like we're gonna turn off the T V. Right. Um So Speaking what's up? Sorry. Speaking of, like, you're saying turn off the TV, I mean, there, I just keep hearing these things, like, people talking about, oh, uh, the ratings are down, ratings are down. I, I really haven't looked that much at it, but, I mean, are they truly, like, just really down? It still seems like every Sunday, everybody's at a sports bar, or at their house, watching their team. I don't think, yeah. I don't think ratings are down. I, it's hard for me to envision that because of fantasy football and... Yeah. The the turnout to the games. These games are sold out every week. Um, well, I'm looking for it to climb, and it's just where do you climb from everybody? Yeah, right? Like, okay, maybe the NFL could use a little bit of ratings down. It's not going to hurt them that much. Right. 
I don't know. Right. I don't see it as a I problem. Know for a fact that the Monday Night Football this year ratings have been up. Yeah. But I also think there's like so many more different ways of watching the game now. Yeah. That, yeah. People are not just like watching it on TV. You can watch it on your phone. You can uh, stream it online. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, I know. But I mean, most of the time when I go over to anybody's house, because you know, especially over here, you can't. I usually don't get the Lions because even the Bears, the Colts, somebody's playing. Yeah. Uh, so everybody's always streaming it. Yeah. You stream it every time throw it up there, but just with the internet now, you can do it perfectly. HD, stream it up to like your Apple box or whatever you got. Yeah. It's it's no problem. You know, you don't have to run out to go to Buffalo Wild Wings every single week or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Prediction time. Thursday night, the two hottest teams in the NFC, Eagles at Panthers. Who do you guys think wins that? Man, just because they beat us, I want to say the Panthers. I, I mean, truly, I think they were looking very, very good. I, I mean, it didn't I, look like much of staff in them. I do, too. So. I think they look good. What do you think, Style? Um, I think it's going to be close. I'm going to go with the Eagles. Yeah. Because of my boy Alshon Jeffrey. Uh, great job not signing him or re signing him, Pace. We could have used him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I like the Eagles in this game. Nice. I'm not going to guarantee it this time. I'm just going to pick them. You got other games to guarantee. Uh, Josh, what do you think? Eagles, Panthers. <laughs> Yeah, I think Cam Newton is the man. Really hot right now. Yeah. For some reason, I think the Eagles might end up winning that. It's a tough pick. I'm gonna go for some in Carolina. For some reason, I'm I'm. Feeling the Eagles. Ah, uh, man, I don't know. I mean, I'm just looking at it. They're talking about how Newman's a down, downfield percentage is at the best he's ever had. Really? A lot of guys are, yeah, it's, I, I mean, I just think they're just hot right now. They're clicking. But so are the, so are the Eagles, someone else. I just hope, you know, Philadelphia is just self-loathing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go... I'm going to go with the Panthers because of my boy Christian McCaffrey at running back. I hope he kills it. Um, yeah. Sunday, Lions at Saints. What do you think? Lions. <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll bounce back? It's a tough road, I, tough road game. I should, man. I, I mean, I think there's going to be, especially after uh, the the Vikings game before, I, I just think we looked a little stale. And I think this, this loss, we really came back more than I thought we should have yeah. in this last so it looks a lot closer. But there's some stuff. I mean, Cooter's got to get out of his game. Jim Bob, <laughs> I mean, he's probably down by the swamp right now. You know, <laughs> catfish bowl in hand, just writing up some new plays. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got Saints in this one. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> I got Saints as well because they're at home. Yeah, I, I mean, what it is. Saints at home. Super yeah. Drew Brees is like God on earth <laughs> when he plays. In Louisiana, so... What, Josh, you got... Who you got? Uh, I have to... Yeah, go with the Saints. All right. <laughs> they're in the New Orleans Dome. Yeah. And, uh... What, they're averaging almost 100 yards more per game. At home. And they're probably happy that Adrian Peterson's not on the sidelines yelling at the coach anymore. That's probably a sigh of relief yeah. for them. Um, yeah. Bears at Ravens. They're about the same. What is it? Yeah, like uh, the Lions are averaging 19.4 opponent points per game. Uh -huh. And New Orleans is 19.5. Oh, nice. And the yards is the Lions are 330.4 and the Saints are giving up. 374.8. Should be a good game. Have, 
is a, I mean, he got a little roughed up after last game. Really? I mean, he got sacked six times. Some pretty good ones. So, and just got to hope he's better. Yeah. You know, I, I don't say he's a Rodgers or anything, but, you know, if Stafford's injured, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Detroit has 11 takeaways on the Yeah. Year. But no, uh, I think that's impressive. Show back up. That's the that's the big thing. If we, our defense can show up, I think we can yeah. Yeah. slow play them with our offense again. <laughs> um, Bears at Ravens. Like five games, pretty good. What is that? Oh, so 11. 11 takeaways in five games is pretty good. Yeah, that's solid. Exactly. Um, Bears at Ravens. What do you guys think there? I got I got Ravens. I don't think that we can. They have a pretty good defense. They're inconsistent, but they're at home. What do you guys think? Um, I have zero faith in John Fox right now. Yeah. Uh, in the first half of last game, we had a fourth down play, and we called a timeout. We had a delay on game. Yeah, that was so, awful. So, I don't know how that happens. Well, and from what I saw, I thought that he – Called timeout, put the punter on the field, then decided to take the punter off the field and go for it. And by the time he got the offense back on the field, it was a delay of game. And it's like, well, dude, yeah, but... you got to make those decisions way before that. that. Yeah, I I think he's checked out. I think he knows he's about to get fired. And it's yeah. just yeah. not inspired. I think I saw one of the takeaways he had or something last week. He just started, he's like laughing on the side. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's that play. Yeah. Jeez. You're like, all right. Um, If I have my way, I say we finish the year, we struggle, John Fox gets fired, and we bring in John Gruden to to coach Mitchell Trubisky and to build the offense. Gruden is not coming there, man. He just has a corona. Dude, we're getting John Gruden. He wants one more shot. Yeah, and he wants the perfect sit, uh, p- situation. He'll be a it's rookie. He'll be a young, <laughs> a young quarterback that he can build. A and young a- quarterback in the big market. Yep. Oh then, gosh, then you guys so will be in trouble. Sure <laughs> All right, and then. Uh, making like five million a year for. Just what he does now, like working like a couple days a week. So yeah, I mean, if it was up to me, I would be doing that work all the time. That's an easy job. But Gruden's like always watching film. He's a he wants to get back on the sideline. I'm pretty sure. I think he wants one more Super Bowl, or he wants one more shot. I remember him having some offers the other year, and I thought they were pretty good ones, turning them down. So I think he's a little bit more. Yeah, but this is. A storied franchise. Yeah. This is this is the yeah. this is the Detroit Lions. This is the Chicago Bears we're talking about. <laughs> Didn't he make most of his career with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I don't think he cares about market size probably too much. Well it's, he, it's a history. Yeah. We have the most wins in the NFL. Look, he was down in Tampa, he's in Corona commercials now. I don't think he wants to go play at Soldier Field and get a big He does not want to play, he wants to coach there. I can't see him just doing that. I well we'll see. I, I we mean, need he a he could probably be a better receiver than what we have right now. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Marcus Wheaton is out there. Whether he's got an appendectomy or can't catch the football, he's just useless. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just going to say, if you guys do need another quarterback, I do have some sad news, but maybe exciting news for you guys. Dan Orlovsky just retired. Well, the NFL <laughs> is crying today because they lost, <laughs> they lost a true star. Yeah. And no, no, no one ever ran a safety like Paul <laughs> the, the, the title of the article reads Dan Orlovsky, known for taking a safety while being chased. <laughs> and it just basically talks about his last game, getting chased out of bounds, and that's it. <laughs> and safely retires. <laughs> Zero, Zero injuries to the head at all. Who knows how they did it? <laughs> All right, and then our final prediction, Packers at Vikings. 
Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I wish the Vikings had a quarterback. And I wish that their rookie running back hadn't got hurt for the year. It's hard for me to pick the Vikings when those things are going on. Yeah. I think they got a few QBs on their roster. They got Case Keenum. He's probably going to start. He's okay, but he's not going to beat Aaron Rodgers. Um, yeah. They got Latavius Murray at running back. He's okay, but he's not Dalvin Cook. It's too bad about Sam Bradford, man. I mean, he's looked really good here and there, but, man. Well, he's a statue, and so he's always getting hit. His kn- knees are always getting hit. Mm-hmm. Um, who knows, man? Who? Uh, I mean, last game, in my opinion, he was not even close to being 100%. No, he was so, like 60% or Yeah. Yeah. He looked bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard thing to judge with those guys go out there. You know, they're just basically roughing it, and then they just get, like, just, you know, I mean, not a great showing at all. And, you know, I mean, you don't see exactly what they're going through or whatever, so. Yeah. Speaking, right, so of, yeah, Bradford. speaking of coming back from injuries, Derek Carr was expected to be out two to six weeks with a back, a broken bone in his back, but he's supposed to play next week. Ooh. After one week. I don't know if that's a good idea. For I them. know. They rush these young guys back. Yeah. I mean, this is your back. You do not want to have a career ending injury. Yeah. No, and especially the way they've I had some optimism lately. I mean, that's not the guy you want to, yeah, have to start make havoc some recurring injuries because you didn't let him heal. Yeah. Uh, well. Hopefully they come back and just beat the regular old Raiders. <laughs> I picked the Raiders. I, I liked Oakland this year. That was, uh, that was, it wasn't my Super Bowl pick, but it was my, uh, to win the AFC, uh, West. Alex is like, look, I got a couple hats of the Raiders. So no. <laughs> it, everyone, everyone should have one Raiders hat. Why? Because. So everyone- have one felony? <laughs> no, Raiders no, Raiders hat is gangster. Oh, you know, teardrop tattoo. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Well, on that note, that's going to do it for the Week 5 podcast. Thanks for coming on, guys. It was good. Right. Be back. Hopefully, oh, be good. back next week. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Doyle. Good. Thanks, Alex. Yep. Yo, peace out, guys. I'll be there. Later. All right, now that the podcast is done, what happened with the U.S. not being able to make it to the World Cup? Well, I was going to say something.